Hey guys, Kpok here. Welcome back to Life is Strange. Now, um, if it isn't out already, it's coming out very soon. Life is Strange Before the Storm. Uh, hold on. Let me check my phone and see when that's coming out. Sorry. Um, but I'm going to leave this as uncut as I possibly can because I like the idea of immersing you guys in each episode. Like I did with the uh, live stream, I kept it pretty much um, unedited except for the parts where I had to be out of the room and stuff. But other than that, you guys didn't miss a thing. So let me look up uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm release date. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so it is coming. Ah, it is released. So I got to get on the ball. So anyways. Um. Life is Strange Before the Storm is in fact out. It released, uh, I think, two days ago. Yeah. So I mean, it's been crazy. I've had uh, I've had two different games. I've been looking at uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm and Sonic Mania. Yeah, both those are fun. But anyway, um, so Life is Strange Before the Storm. I will do. Uh, after I complete this one and when they have all three episodes up so um, but let's get right back in here to uh, life is strange we are going to go to episode two and like I said I'm gonna keep this as unedited as I possibly can for you guys I like the idea of everybody immersing into the game if you guys don't like story driven games uh, this might not be the one for you. This is going to be well over an hour, I can already tell you. But um, it's one of those games you just got to sit and play. And it, it's really cool. And it really immerses you into things. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. A lot of people think he's rather, um, strange. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh. That's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. They do say that everybody has a spirit well, animal of sorts. My spirit animal is a squirrel. Talk about the snow. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the earth to get our shit together. <laughs> I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Talk to him later. I so, so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. So a lot of people think uh, Samuel is a little weird and a little strange. And that is understandable considering the way he talks and the way that he uh, presents himself. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. Let's see, can I get a picture? The squirrel eating. There he goes. Slowly. There's a photo of Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Heck yeah. There we go. So you can see the pictures that you can get as well. It's pretty neat and stuff so yeah um this game that it does touch on a lot of subjects by the way so if you're sensitive to certain things again this may not be one for you to watch i personally love this game it's so atmospheric so immersive this is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander or blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. 
You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a philo polite warning. Jesus Christ. Let's see. Do I have any more? No. Okay. Fair enough. So over here we catch Warren. Max, come on over here. Sure. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Okay, thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. <laughs> I'm some personal superhero. Well, there you go. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with <coughs> that bully and Excuse ran me. off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Chloe Price. An old friend. Chloe Price? We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. <laughs> Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I don't want to get him He's involved. dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! <laughs> totally, totally, totally wanting a date. I'm just yes, gonna say yes Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool. I'll text you the info. Uh, at least I can do is be nice. I mean, he did take an ass whooping for me, basically. Uh, so, if you're just now getting in to hear, uh, Chloe Price basically saved me from Nathan. I'm sure we all know the story by now. But David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Or both. See, Kate Marsh is being the victim of a bully, like, really, really bad right now. Everybody is bullying, <coughs> can't talk, bullying her. And it's one of those things where you just got to, uh, you know, it's something people face every day, whether you're popular or not, everybody gets bullied at some point, and sometimes... Uh, necessary actions necessary actions need to be taken if you're being bullied please seek out help and you'll see why I said that a little bit later either in this episode or the next one I can't remember I want to say it's this maybe but anyway um, on with the story, she's heading to the Two Whales Diner because Chloe texted her wanting breakfast um, at the end of the last episode or at the end of the live stream. Uh, so, yeah, we are heading to the Two Whales Diner now to meet up Chloe and do what Max Caulfield does best. And... Don't Nod did a great job with this Square Enix with all the graphics and stuff. It was just absolutely fantastic. I really, I really love the overall look and feel of this game. That lighthouse in the distance. I mean, it sets the whole atmosphere. This whole game has a moody kind of atmosphere, uh, an atmosphere of needing to be aware of everything. The seagulls and the V shape it is, I mean, they put a lot of detail into this and a lot of little Easter eggs that you can find, a lot of little things you can do and stuff. Lunch siren, I wonder what time it is. Uh, fun fact. They try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm going to be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. So, fun fact, I can't really hear a lunch siren or tornado siren without thinking of Silent Hill. There's a reason. Uh, yeah, it really messed with me when I first played that game. Obviously, nobody took my advice. <laughs> so, let me see. 
I'm just gonna roam around here. There's certain things you can do to better the outcome of your uh, story. Like there's certain Excuse people me. you can talk Sir? to. Sir, can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds. Wow. How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. Pessimistic I keep reading much? how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Rachel Amber? You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Jesus. We're in late. Grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. <laughs> Uh, I love the banter in this. Okay, here's one of the things you can do to make things a little bit better in your outcome. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Oh? Tell me a little bit. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. That's sad. I was a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Married to a real prick. <laughs> Everybody's on Madsen's case. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. What about the Prescott family? I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know Jesus. somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family. Especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Excuse me. Almost. Wow. What about Arcadia Bay? How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes? What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I have to go now. Goodbye. So there's Come a... talk to me any old time you want, young lady. So there's a lot of... Like I said, there's a lot of subjects, uh, in, including... Um, homelessness and uh, oh interesting that's neat didn't expect to see that anyway um, one of the biggest things that is in this sort of game and in this world today is the fact there's a lot of homelessness especially third world countries and the United States is seeing its share of homeless folks as well. It's uh, there is a lot of um, real world equivalents in this game right now as to uh, what's going on. Let's see. That sign reminds me of so many times mm -hmm. I ate here with Chloe and my family. And there's and just we're happy. There's just so much that can. There we go. Let's get a good photo here. I love taking these random photos. I know this might be a little bit longer than the live stream, but it is recorded. And again, uh, this is one of those things where uh, it's just, there's so many things good morning. that goes on. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has, it has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. <laughs> Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Mm, itchy. 
You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Some people do the have Prescott's that talent. Uh, and their finance talent. fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. Talk about conceited. You know them? Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. I'm trying to keep my dog quiet. Because the mailman just pulled up. <laughs> uh, so, there's... Uh, let's see, what else can I do out here, maybe? I can't nope, cross the road. Nope, I don't want to go there. Alright. I don't want to go that way. Let's see if there's anything else I can do past here. I don't think so. Nope, I don't want okay, to go there. so, the only way left to go is in, uh, two whales. And that's where we're heading, so... Well, you can read the newspaper here. See what it says. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Weather service baffled by snow. In a rare admission, the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall that briefly hit Arcadia Bay. Oregon. Give me just a minute. I had to help my dog up on the bed and pulled out my headphones. Okay. Weather service baffled by snow. You had to come with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall in Oregon this week. I didn't know this was in Oregon. The more you know. Okay, so in the Two Whales Diner, we go. As you can see, there's another Rachel Amber poster. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. We got the Halloween Bazaar here. Just kind of look around, gumball stand, see what else we got here. Restroom. For real? Okay, you see, this is kind of stuff that, you know, stuff like that gets around town. It's never good. And it's just one of those things. And it's, it's horrible. Okay. So here we can get a neat little photo. Fire walk with me. Don't know what that means, but... And then, as I've said before, look, there's representation of dough everywhere. And there's one there on the wall. You can see it on her shirt. So there's a lot of symbolism with that, uh, that particular animal. Hello. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Eh? Okay. You must be from Canada, or at least they're stereo uh, stereotypical Canadian. Uh, to catch speech. any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Jesus. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Jesus. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Well, that's your own fault. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Nah. I'm oh, hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Grilled mac and cheese? I've never heard of that. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. I told you. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scan. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. I'm <laughs> just kidding. 
Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? Yeah. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. Can be. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. Aww. What about David? What I guess you're friends him? with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He has a reputation. He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. <laughs> About Joyce. How well do you her? know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. <laughs> we take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce like she's our... our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. Ooh, I okay. usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise well, policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and so I'm gonna try to rewind that and see if I can dig a little deeper about Frank. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. Skip that. Just... Now that is a real... I uh, can't do anything about that. I have so. to go. Never mind. But I usually wise well, policy. Okay, so kind of a waste of time there. Let me see what else we can come up with. There's somebody. I don't feel like talking right now. I got to deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Sure thing. Uh, hello. Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Everything is an eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Jesus. Joyce rules. I want to be accepted like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Rude. Very rude. So let's see if there's anything else. Uh, kinda wanna change that music. Give me a good guitar tone. Thank you. Well, it's better than it was, I guess. Better than it was, I guess. It's not my idea of a guitar tone, but sure, we'll go with it. There we go. By the way, not endorsed. It's just good. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man. He just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I'm gonna try. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did karma the right can thing. Be bad. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. 
That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. And I've been there before. Um, you know, I, I asked myself, why was my grandfather taken so early for cancer? And I, I stayed pretty angry and bitter for a while. And uh, because at the time, I was in fourth grade and I was getting bullied about my art. And um, I was being told I couldn't make it or anything like that, that my stuff was horrible. And he's really the first person to um, inspire me and motivate me to keep going with it and just get better and better and better. And um, yeah, it wasn't too long after that he uh, he passed because of cancer. So now you guys know a little bit about that and why I will not play that dragon cancer. I, I can't I can't take it. I mean. I have moved on, I have, but it still hurts. It hurts bad, and so, there's just some hurts that you won't ever get over, and that is uh, that's that's normal. That's some, that's not anything that you can that you should be uh, that you should be reprimanded for or ashamed of. You know, that's just one of those things. There are certain wounds that just won't heal completely, and that's one of them for me. And that's why I'm so adamant to trying to get this uh, community up and going to raise money for various charities, for cancer research, especially for St. Jude and the children who uh, are going through that horrible disease. Um, because you know, some children, they get they fall victim to that disease before they even have a chance to live their life, and uh, it's kind of sad. But anyway, on with the game. Uh, Chloe understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. I didn't go that far. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why. I mean, why? What did Chloe tell you? David hit her. Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Mm. He backhanded her. That's... That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess... I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Well, I had my yeah, breakfast on a bun not too long ago, but considering what the choices are here, I gotta go with the omelet. I was omelet. dreaming about your bacon omelet. Uh, now finish your coffee. Western omelet's one of my favorites to choose. Trust me. So, yeah. I know exactly what she One means when it comes to the omelet. Bacon at 12 o'clock Nerd group. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Who is that? Now, why you want to change my stuff? The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Yeah, they're a little high, some of them. Let me see. There's not really any Western omelet, but... Uh, let's see. It's interesting, nonetheless. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had Dumbass. plenty. Stick with the bacon. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep Elbow going pop. back in time. Order ready. Yeah. Excuse me. No beer? What what kind of dive is this? Uh, it's not. Incoming. <clears throat> I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. You'll love this. 
I'm drooling like a baby. <laughs> Still I would can't too. believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. Speak of the devil. There she is, Chloe Price. In the flesh. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat. To you, for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. They are so Didn't you and Sergeant hard. Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, Chloe does push him, but... Another reason to blow this know. town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Thank you. Everybody knows by now I'm a rocker at heart. Now that that's out of the way. I can live with that. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. Okay. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, this is where I'm gonna need to take a few little notes. Okay, here. Max. Impress me. Just a moment. Well, first you're gonna say keys, obviously. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Mmm. A skull. A skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Now Let we'll me get show you what's actual actually in my pockets. Information here. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Alright. Time to study. Let's see what we got here. We have... You need to look at the items and rewind so Chloe believes you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. And a keychain. Then we got... Cigarettes. With one, two, three, five, six, seven. Just put seven cigarettes. And we have some spare change. We have 25, 50, 75, 80, one, two, three, four, five, six cents. 86 cents. Finally, we have a parking ticket. And it looks like the date was 921. Uh time just in case 1034 a.m. And I figure that's all we're gonna need. So let's get ready to do part one of the dazzling. Now then. There we go. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Alright. Keys. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy! I need details! Describe my keychain. It is a panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? You have cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? There's seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. What is the hell that means? Money. Mm -hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 
You have 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. Here you go. I'm look at that look. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. Mm-hmm. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. <laughs> How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Yummy. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clean. Ha. Anybody who knows rock knows that's a song, I'm by the way. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. Oh, okay. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Alright. Oops! Broke Did cup. you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? Police partner, leave. You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm fight. finishing it! Do we have... That's okay. the best song I've heard. Sure I know what that better is. Than that other well, garbage. I didn't get to see it, I but I do Fox know. Is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Can do. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Alright. We're going to have... The trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Then we have alert on the cop's radio and his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Then we have um, Trevor. Justin and Trevor are fighting fight. and Joyce breaks Joyce it up. Breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And then we have a jukebox. The jukebox goes crazy, goes as, crazy, a crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. And you know it's right because it's an actual cutscene that happens. It doesn't let you see everything from Max's Oops. distance. Did you break another cup? Oh, look really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some scares. <laughs> You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. <laughs> and you a cockroach. a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Until you end up Maybe with a little a one in your stomach. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play! I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? <laughs> then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. Well, that's you nice. need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. <laughs> uh, I would have finished my meal, sorry. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and hold it through. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big what? You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Mean. But I've got to answer, Hey, Kate. Sorry. 
What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. See, I'm not trying to I really be a don't good think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Can. Yeah, Chloe will be pissed, but she'll get over it. Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Let's go. That's better. It sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. Let's not do It's that. not like I won't see her in class later. Excuse me. Sorry. So again, if you guys are not really into the whole um, long story driven games, you know, uh, you can by all means go watch something else. I don't mind at all. I mean, it's your right. But if you're enjoying this, please leave a this like a and race? comment and keep, you know, keep, keep checking it out. It's, how many times are you going I love to get this, pissed actually. at me this week? It's really good. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Jesus. Welcome to American Rust. My home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. <laughs> Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Uh. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Okay. Drink? Yeah. No thanks. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. <laughs> also, uh, spoiler alert, um, the actress who plays Chloe Price is not in the uh, prequel that just came out before the storm, and it, it upset me because uh, it was such a you know, she, the actress plays such a huge role in there, and it kind of, you know, it's not quite the same. I mean, I've heard a little bit of the new voice actress for Chloe, and she's not bad, don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking her at all. Matter of fact, congratulations for getting the role. But, the reason that, you know... I don't know. I don't know how to describe this without sounding bad. Hello, bottle number one. Um, One more to go. Other than the fact that, you know, the studio didn't want to hire Chloe's original voice actress because of some kind of strike or something that she was part of, some kind of movement. I don't know. But anyway, that's off the topic. Like I said, that's a little spoiler alert. It's not the same voice actress. But don't let that stop you guys from playing the game. Break and time getting it because Those shells look fresh it's uh it's i'm if it's anything like this prequel or not it's going to be good is what i feel like and i believe there will be an official part two of life is strange involving Way max than i thought Ugh. but without chloe i don't know how well it'll do because max and chloe you know they're like they're the duo of the game they're the ones that you know everybody follows Boom. Only three bottles and left. And unless Arcadia Bay getting destroyed is the actual... Oops. Forget I said that. Forget I said that. Forget I said that. That will be... That will be a slight edit. Anyway. Uh, unless one of those two endings is the actual ending and the other one is a... Uh, alternate. There's a lot that goes on. I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> Um, let me see. I gotta try to remember where all these bottles are. This is the part where it kind of gets slow. It needs to be a picture. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill. I couldn't resist. Not fair. 
I have to prep the range, crybaby. <laughs> and I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God or the gods. So, bow. <laughs> we can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Nah. No way. Not my style. I still don't even know how my power works. Or for how long. Dude, you fuck shit up, you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic. Boom. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. <sighs> this is not gonna bode well. I can tell you that. I don't want to go that way. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. So this is going to be kind of a slow spot because I've got to remember where all these daggone bottles are. I've already been up here. At least the yacht. Syringes. Cross under the bridge I made. Um... There's a shack right here. You can take some pictures in here, I think. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. Sure, I'll leave that there. That's nice. I want to die. Jesus. <sighs> Jeez. Who wrote this? So we have another wine bottle here. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a ha Ouch. Yeah, ouch indeed. So, there's a makeup case. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. See, this is where Chloe and Rachel hung out, as you can plainly see. That kind of hurts. Chloe and Rachel. Yeah, I could see where that would hurt. Oh, I they didn't even really see these. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. So, as you can see, there's quite a bit of um, remorse that Max is feeling here for, you know, leaving the way she did. And... I know ever since uh, high school I haven't really been able to keep in contact with all my friends. It's just one of those things that happens, you know, you get This is the scariest thing here. I was told a long time ago that after high school uh you will lose uh contact with a lot of your friends and one I one more bottle to go. I didn't really want to believe that. But unfortunately, it is true. Sorry to bother you by asking for your advice. I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy the video all over the world. It's not what I meant. Hang on. It's not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Too late, I guess. But thank you for answering my call this morning. I really needed a friend and you delivered. I'm on your side. It's always good. So, let's see. There's a campfire around here somewhere that's got the final remaining bottle. That I gotta find. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Where? I didn't see her. That dough is the perfect photo op. There you are. Grab that photo real quick. And it's a spirit dough, it's not just, it's not just any dough, it's a spirit. And as you can see, on the screen, that wilderness, there is no dough in that picture. Like literally, right here. She took that picture, that's where the dough should have been. But there's nothing. So, makes you wonder, doesn't it? Anywho. We are going to search up that campfire. Gotta be around here somewhere. 
piece of clothing. This was an old school punk shirt. I'd wear it. Um. Da -da 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 like I said, this is kind of a slow spot. And I promise I'll try to get past it as quickly as I possibly can. Washing machine, it's all washed up. Uh, I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Can't go that way yet. There's Chloe's truck, I think. Yes, that's Chloe's truck, so this is heading towards the entrance. Um, syringes. Let me get a good look at this place. I don't know if I can do a first person perspective thing or not. I don't think so. Like she said, there is a bonfire spot. Just gotta find it. The old beat up bus. It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Yep, yeah, this is the graveyard for old, unneeded vehicles and stuff. There's an old camera. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. We got y'all through here. Should be a spot very near. Or at least I thought. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Yeah, I hear you, Max. I hear you. I hear you. There's a piece of clothing. So let's head this way. Car wreck. Ah, I think it's yep, yeah, right over here. I think. No. Nope, I don't want to go there. Okay, so dash on over here. Oh, in here. There it is. There's a bottle. Found it. I didn't take as long as well, I thought it would. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Don't think so. No, stop, dang it. Go right on that wall again. <laughs> well then. Thanks for the tip. I'm back in here right on the wall, dang it. Let's get There we go. Now, let's go find Chloe. And we can continue on. Poor boat. Where you at, woman? Chloe, where the heck are you? Oh, there she is. Hard to see because you blend in with those damn cars a little bit. Thanks, Max. Already? Wait, one more for the road? Sure, because why not? You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Okay. Max, you have to help me aim. Sure. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Okay. 
Show me the way, Max. Little to the left. Aim a bit to your left. Oops. I'm on Wrong it. Wrong way. Oops. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. There we go. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so <laughs> fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Go up. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. There we go. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Your Let's aim pump is up off. the volume and find me another target. You. I want to get creative here. Okay. Let me see. How do we do this? Give me something to shoot, Max. The barrel is a no-go. Hello, what should I shoot? Let's take I out this wheel rim wheel. on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? There we go, yep, that's right. Hello, yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? We gonna take out. Let's see what happens Oops. when you shoot the gas tank. That's not Step gonna be Step back, good. gas tank, go boom. Wrong. Boom. It went boom, but it didn't take out any bottles. Dude, I need a target. How about aiming for the left tire? There you go. Take that Adios, out. Spinning wheel of death. That'll take care of it. Uber cool. There you go. I cannot believe this is for real. See if I remember doing all those hero. like high school. Now it's your turn uh, to bust a cap. Uh, handshakes, the secret handshakes for friends and I stuff. I don't know. I did that for a long time. Max, Still do with certain ones. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max. Too much. Too much, too much. Ow. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? Mm -mm. A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. I gotta give props to a lot of the Too voice much acting. For Arcadia? Like the first episode, it was Maybe sketchy. Not enough. But the this other ones fun. afterwards is Scary and much stupid, better. stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. It's time to get I'd a photo rather go chat up Chloe. Should be a nice little photo op somewhere. There we go. to check out the portfolio. That's a nice little photo. Alright, so I'm gonna move on. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. Somewhat. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Yes. Oh boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Yes. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. 
Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. I'm not gonna shoot him because there's no bullets anyway. Come on, girly. Shoot me. This may not go well. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. Uh, I don't like good. guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm oh. actually relieved it worked out this way instead. Maybe I won't rewind it. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. Better off My secret lair didn't really feel like secret today. Really. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Chloe's waiting. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Yep. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? Q&A time. It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? Very, I wish we could very stay dangerous. Forever. Look at the detail with the birds in the sky. I mean, that's. Can we build another pirate board and like a lot keep the world out? People we need a new secret hangout. Notice small things Frank like that. Find us. Are you okay, Max? Freaked out. I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? <laughs> anyway, Fine. Frank and I kind of hung out. Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash, that's all. That's it? No, I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? My brain is fried, let's I put it to that. I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. Sometimes that's a good thing. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Rachel and I? Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. <laughs> it's the romance of travel and movement. 
The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the bee poet here. <laughs> I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Harder to do than you might think sometimes. As a fellow artist, I do Perfect. know this, honestly. Ah! That's not good. Come on, Chloe. This is why you don't lay or walk on ra railroad tracks. What's that noise? The train. Oh, shit. All right, so let me do what I do best. I can't even move it an inch. Awesome. It's not locked. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Just so I know I've got plenty of time. Come on, Max! Hurry! Shit! I can't budge it at all! Okay. Moving on further back. That crowbar. I can definitely use this bad boy. Come on, okay, we're gonna use the crowbar. Ah, score. And we're going to open this up. Get. Kind of tools somewhere. There we go. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Oh, okay, uh, what can I slice with this? Come on, back. In and out, no problem. I wonder what that would do. I know what to do, but... Alright, we're going to open this up. But which wire to cut? Red wire. Always the red wire. Now that's the right cable. Always the red wire. Yes! I did it! Talk about time. Whew. You okay? You saved me again! Crazy! Now we're totally bonded for life! Damn! That was close! Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? <laughs> it was cool to spend time in your lair, but... I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers... might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Aww. See, that's a cool thing because a real friend, even if you haven't talked to them in years for whatever reason, I mean, I haven't talked to my buddy Zagnon Thanks Jenkins. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Uh, right on time for my art lesson. Hold Thanks up, for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, sarcasm, your rewind sarcasm. power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. It's got a lot to do with it. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about it? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? <laughs> Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. Nice. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? 
I'm just a geek Impressive. girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with right. your power, Rockstar. Like you said, Professor Price, the superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Never mind. Because we're back in action again. I believe we've come to the end of episode two and let's see I believe this is the end of it as I've played this one and I've beat it it is so so fun and it's cool to see the different choices I make and see how they affect the game that's why I've come back and played it for you guys I have a little time before mr. Jefferson's oh. class so I can do some wondering I still got a little bit I can do. Awesome. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun It's not alleged, you idiot. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. There's Our head of security is overseeing of. a new era of campus safety. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Kiss my ass. Anyway, he's not gonna be of any help whatso frickin' ever. There's Trevor. He's... Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit her. You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? What about Kate? I shouldn't have said anything. You know about that video going around. Is that why you hassled Kate yesterday? I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Soldier. You don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You know, I, I some... I can't help but feel somewhat bad for Madsen. He's trying to protect Chloe and the students here, but he goes about it all the wrong way. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. That That's reminds where I'm me. heading. I have to score some lead for Nathan. Before that. Think, How are you? Think. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Yep. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. <laughs> She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's part. new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. Oh, my. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. There's some kind of photo op I can do in here. Ah, here we go. Some kind of photo I can take in here. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. 
It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts, and yours might be the one that decided. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. Change the subject real quick. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You like photography? You must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. Not quite true. Some of the best uh, minds did debate certain numbers. Snow? What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. Tribes? I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Some kind of chemistry. Like, right here, I feel, is where... Stuff needs to happen. Maybe I gotta hey, Warren, help him first. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. Silver Hammer? I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. I'm no good at chemistry. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Well, I do remember that potassium is quite reactive in water, so we'll try that. I'm not that. sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Okay, give it a go. Poof. Weird science. Okay, so wrong answer. See, told you I was no good at... Chemistry. Hey Warren. Paxwell asking me for have that either. I have a vision. Oh, oh, oh. Go diem. Go diem? Oops. That's never the mind. worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Nothing. Before it even does anything. So we're gonna do lots hey, of potassium. Paxwell's asking me for have that either. Lots of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. Nah. <laughs> she blinded me with science. <laughs> well, there you go. Made a boom. Anyway. There was supposed to be some kind of photo op I could take in here, but I'm not seeing it. it. Has something to do with that chemistry stuff, I'm sure. But anyway, moving on, moving on. I've wasted enough time. We will go... See if she'll hey, talk. Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex ah. Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. Really? Oh, like... Let me see what we can do here. Dress code? I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. That'll work. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. I'm gonna need that Back later, to the by list. the way. There's a reason I did that. I do not support the Vortex Club whatsoever, ever, but there is a reason. Oh, shoot. Okay. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Just leave me alone. 
Come on, talk to me, Kate. Okay, well, that's not gonna work anyway. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos, but you know this. So what Don't can I do? I think for there's you? a lot more going just on than just photos. I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry. Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh, yes. I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate's freaked out. Kate is freaked out by all this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like These to believe people. that, Max. These it just people. seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Oh. Listen, oh. should I? Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Sure. Don't even worry about other students. I mean, it's not like you care anyway. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Bo. 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 Tina, you are out of control. Turn left, Very good, then, then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? Do you look like us? Let's see what else I can get. All right. Posing. Can't bother her right now. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Figures. Like I give a flunk. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Assholes. Get this started. So I got some pretty good photos in this episode. I, I'm happy with what I got. Poor Kate. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong. And weird. This is the episode I was warning you guys about. There could be some uh, triggering here for certain things. So, if you're watching this now... And, what up, Max? Uh, hey, Warren. Certain things I saw Kate earlier. You, her eyes please. were puffy from crying. Turn, Kate turn has now a lot on her go. plate. I didn't know what to say. To, uh, she didn't tell me anything. Okay. To I know you love the it, end of the episode. But if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. <laughs> Maybe it involves a student or a friend. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Oops. Judge. Usually, 
People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation... I guess Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about her. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? Why, why signal me I'm out? sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Also used very much Although in we don't artwork. Technically see in Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. This is where I've got to be real careful with what I do. I want to save her. Is this for real? Like I said, it's if you guys, if you guys are very sensitive to something like this, please skip ahead. This is your last chance. Skip ahead to the end of the episode. Uh, past the next, uh, I'd say five minutes, that if, if that. Just Whoa, no. Is that Kate? Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Mm. Okay, this is where things get really, really tense. And this really is the last chance, guys. If you don't want to see something like this if this is going to trigger something please going max turn away you can do it pass all the birds blocking my way Time has stopped to where I can make it to the roof and try to help poor Kate. This is what bullying can lead to. This whole scenario. Bullying, yes. whether it be virtual, in real life, in school, outside of school, this is what it can lead to. And it's very, very disturbing and it very very bad thing like literally you can just one wrong thing can put uh, somebody over the edge what are you doing here Max stop don't come near me not now it won't work I don't have any power now I have to do this by myself did you come to get another Pulitzer shot like yesterday Max I only wanted proof that David was harassing you more like you wanted another shot for the Max Caulfield scrapbook. You want another now? Oops, that's huh? not good. No! Please, Kate. You know me better than that. And I know you don't want to jump. But I do. My life is already over. Kate, your life is still yours. And whatever and happens, I'm not going to try together. to reset it. Let me help. Matter. I mean, like it I does matter. Like I erasing all that crap people wrote on your room site. But I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. You're my friend. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott yeah, dropped that's the right you. Answer. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. 
think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. Mm -hmm. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake Man, up. If you see somebody in trouble uh, getting bullying, please step up and help. And then everybody at Blackwell okay. can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Be strong. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. I hope so. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles Maybe. anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. I hope so. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No! Nobody cares about me! Nobody! Your sisters. I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only ten. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Oh, shit. <sighs> Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and oh, I will give right. you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. I can't believe you quoted yes. one of my favorite passages. That is one of my favorites like I as said, well. I care about you. I know this passage means a lot to you. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't I'm want to sorry. lose her. <laughs> sorry. Oh, that's so what stressful. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Okay. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite the hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. He's As amazing. principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Okay. In this particular scenario, this can be anything. And the ending result is pretty much going to be the same no matter what you do. But... The way the story is, most people are going to go with Nathan Doster. And I'm not going to give away what truly happens to the end, so I'm just going to go with what most people will say and what I, I said All I know first. is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. 
I dosed her <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. Field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And She's since right. Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. No, I'm going to sign it. And... At the end of this episode, I, I am going to have a little bit of something to say. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Sorry, I'm quiet. Again, like I said, this is very story-driven. Very, very story-driven. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause. Like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously. A human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm so worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. Here it's All just... over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. <clears throat> Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but... There's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. And she's Along right. with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. Now, I'm not a big conspiracy guy. Not Madsen. But I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. By the way, Max, there was no the eclipse, eclipse of 2017 today. was the coolest I thing I've know. ever seen. I would. I mean, it was very cool. My work where I work, they provided uh, glasses for everybody and snacks, and I we all shut down the line I to go see it. Anything this week? It was cool. And I think the next one's scheduled for 2024, I think. Something like that. No, not quite that late. Let's see. 2021, I think, is the next one that's scheduled. So mark your calendars. I think you might want to recheck me on that one. Madsen is tore up about the whole incident. No, it's, uh, it's... Alright, this is the end of the episode. There's no more words that's gonna be said. But I'd like to say a few words. Alright. I have, um, been the victim of bullying. And I've seen bullying, and I've stopped bullying. I've been on all sides of that. As you see, everybody is tore up about this whole thing. They know exactly what happened and what's going on and why. I'm trying 
trying to let this kind of sort of play out. Um, this is a this is one of those things that you really, really gotta uh, look at from all angles. That makes me feel so much better. I'm not going to lie, I was almost scared that I was going to lose her. Because I made that one mistake. You're only allowed two mistakes and then she jumps. So you've really got to know what you're saying and what you're going to do. Ah, here we go. This freaks me out. Let's find out what's going on. Together. Now, in the first episode, you saw that folder, fo yeah, folder of Rachel Amber being put up on the shelf. There's a reason for that. And there's a reason Kate's folder is out. So that's the end of episode two. And what I want to say about bullying is it's, it's horrible. It is absolutely horrible. So I'm going to talk to you guys a minute. Um... I've been on all ends of bullying except for giving. That's not one of the things that I've ever done and I never will. If you, loved one, or someone you know is being bullied, step in. Do everything you can to stop the bullying because it can lead to something like what would just happen in the game it is a very real problem in this day and age especially in schools it's hard enough in school for uh, high schoolers and stuff and uh, elementary schoolers alike because teachers and society crams so much knowledge and puts so much pressure on the students nowadays it's just it's it's horrible okay when you put in the fact that you go to school six to eight hours a day, then you got three or four hours worth of homework to do. So there's, let's just say you go to school for eight hours a day. You go in to, uh, at night and you have two or three hours worth of homework or better. So you add up, that's 11 hours right there. All right, then you gotta factor in sleep. And they recommend at least six to eight hours of sleep. So let's go with the minimum. Let's go with the median range. Seven hours sleep. That's 18 hours. You have 24 hours in a day, right? So you have 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 hours. Or six hours, I'm sorry. To do what you want to do social wise and experiment with who you are. And I'm getting off tangent, and uh, you know, that's all the pressure of a school kid that uh, nowadays, especially when it comes to high school. High school is the worst because you're trying to find where you fit in. You're trying to find who you are in the midst of all this stuff. It's it's very stressful, very frustrating. Me, I was blessed with being one of the guys who didn't exactly care about the other cliques and trying to be a part of them. I was, I was my own person and I was lucky that I wasn't bullied in high school for it. But other people are not so lucky. I've seen things happen. Um, I had somebody that I know that would get bullied and bad mouthed and rumors always spread about her and she ended up cutting a lot. And that's certainly not a way to go. Literally, I mean, it's it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible what happens from time to time, and it can lead to an incident like what was just presented in the game. And no matter how it's presented in a game, no matter how much you read about it, no matter how much you hear about it, 
it doesn't exactly register until you actually have to live it. And um, <clears throat> I'm not going to say that I've lived somebody killing themselves that I know. Fortunately, that has not happened. But I've been around enough people who talked about it. I've been around enough people that I know personally who's had the thought cross their minds more than once. It's crossed my mind a couple of times. And you know, this is not K-pop talking, this is Carrie talking, okay? When you have those thoughts, and some people find out that you have those thoughts, they'll play on it. And that's where some people get dragged down to their worst, and unfortunately, sometimes it leads to that, and it's, it's horrible. But, one person, and I've lived by this philosophy, and I've, I've lived by it, I've done it. One person can make a difference in somebody's life. It only takes one. You don't have to be boyfriend, girlfriend, you don't have to be mates, you don't have to be soulmates. Just be a friend. Be that one person they can confide in. Be that one person that reaches out to help them. Don't hold your hand back. Don't keep your heart closed to those who need it. If you witness something going on that's not right, do your part to help, whether it's reporting, whether it's stepping in. Because you never know, you know, exactly how much somebody's going through. And at that, I'm gonna leave it right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And please, if you ever witness anything like this or anything similar, please don't hesitate to step in and help. This is K-Pop signing off. See ya.